what is happening guys so today we're doing a video on fleet friday i know we've i think i've missed um last week um and i don't know the week before the video was kind of messed up so um to fix that we decided to redo that video so with this week we're going to be looking at this is the final video for dhs um i think you guys see you guys this is the last vehicle left on uh dhs so if you guys want if you guys want to go to the discord i'll put the link of it down below or up here um go to the discord join there and uh let me know or in, down in the comment as well let me know which department to do next since D this is the last video for dhs so here we go all right so i'm gonna get into my car um there you go by the way if you guys didn't know pixels right here um next the pixel is silent right there um this is the variant of the vehicle um all right here we go you guys uh, you guys can get into your cars um so right now we have aux lights i'm gonna stick to aux lights actually and give you guys a tour so here's the variants of that we do have i didn't add k9 k9 is missing from this so we have four variants of the explorer um we have the k9 we have the regular explorer we have the slick top and we have the unmarked um if the reason why i don't have the canine in there is it's minor um it's pretty much this with like a like you know little dog thingy right here so because of that i didn't include it so the first um section we're going to start with is ox lights so the ox lights look like this um it's only the top that's going to be turning on on the um, marked one um, on the unmarked one, since it doesn't have the light bar on the top, these are the ones that turn blue. Where this one, it's actually off. Um, and then for the unmarked um, Explorer, these two are the ones that light up. In the front, we have four for this total that's in the front. This one turns blue, this one turns red. That's for unmarked explorers. Um, same thing here. So this has the same style as that one, um, the um, the um, slick top. Now, here's the regular explorer, just like the K9. These turn on in the front. So let me go inside. All right, let's turn off our aux lights and turn on emergency control one. So emergency control one gives us for the marked unit um you have the bottom one is always red just on both the marked and the uh, slick top the backs the sides have uh only this one blinking and they're blinking red blue red blue red blue um same thing here on the slick top um in the back these are blinking now on the slick top since um this we have this right here this kind of corresponds with this one the traffic visor do not turn on on the marked one but on the slick top um these start blinking same style as the unmarked right there um and then the same thing on right here red blue red blue they pretty much stick to that same exact style now on my slick top uh, on the slick top and my explorer um these also turn on but they're actually steady burning, so they don't actually blink, as you guys could see. Both of them are steady burning. Same thing on the, so both Slick Top and the Explorer have steady burn. So the next one is Emergency Control 2. So this is Emergency Control 2. This is usually used for like after you come to a scene and you're there. Um, for the Explorer, and this is the regular unit, and the K9, um, these blink the same way. So you have these two changing colors at the bottom. Now these finally turn back on. Side markers are also on, and these just red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, and it, they just keep going faster and faster. Um, this ELS on, on the side, this this light right here is off still, but this one is re blinking red, blue, red, blue still. This is no longer steady burning. It's red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Um, and these two do the same thing. Same thing here, except instead of a big light bar on the top, these light bars go red, blue, red, blue. Um, other than that, it's the same there. Now on the unmarked, um, the back side, it's the same style in the back, but in the front is where they differ. Um, so the slick top does have similar lighting, but uh, this one doesn't have, um, it doesn't have these 
uh, side lights but the grill lights are still working so that's for the unmarked ones so this and this are kind of closer and when it comes to lighting they're pretty much similar so next up is emergency control 3 this is usually used for when you're going to priority on a scene and this is where everything turns on now if you guys notice you start seeing more white colors now um, the middle ones turn white instead of red and blue and the side ones at the end turn red blue red blue red blue um, these finally turn back on the middle lights um, turn back on the dashboard lights uh, for both the unmarked and this I mean for the both marked and the slick top unmarked doesn't have that um, on the top these start doing a little dance up here they just go back and forth back and forth back and forth um, if you guys noticed earlier this ELS was not turning on now it does now they both change blue red blue red blue red blue um, these are also blinking but instead unlike last time where it was red blue red blue the one on the left turns red always and the one on the right turns blue um, and same thing on these two right here um, this one since it's not um, this one does the same thing as the top light bar of the uh, marked unit does same thing here these guys have their side markers on just like this one um, other than that these guys uh, these guys are the same on that one so three so that's three next is the spotlight and the takedowns um, so spotlight and takedowns are like this um, so this is not the flood light yet. This is just takedown. So the takedowns are this and this for the for the marked unit And here's the spotlight. It only has one spotlight. Unlike some departments. We only have one spotlight in our explorers um, For the slick top it has the same lighting as my un uh, the unmarked one um, But the unmarked one doesn't have a spotlight, but it does um, these in the middle Right here actually closer to the middle because there's an ELS between them um, turn white same thing here as you guys could see but they're well hidden in the Explorer as you can see you can only see it with the specific lighting so and at night it actually turns on but it does not have uh, it doesn't have spotlight next up is uh, turn off the spotlight and turn off the takedowns turn on the floodlight so on the floodlight this is what you have you have these two now finally turn on and these finally turn on as well same thing here except uh, instead of on top of the car now you have inside the car and more more turn on right here so before it was only this and this that was turning on now there is more that are turning on and this has the same style as that one and then the grills also help with the takedowns so that's the takedowns. Um, now we're going to turn on with the takedowns uh, emergency light 2. So they could correspond. You can have your takedowns. And if you turn on your emergency light 2, they start working together. So because you have the takedown on, they overwrite the ELS. So your takedowns will always be on. But the sides will start blinking, as you guys could see right here. So these are primarily taken by the takedowns but the sides are still blinking as you can see uh, there you go so the side markers are on still same thing here um, these always turn on but now you have your ELS on and it does not affect the rest of the lights as you can see um, same thing here as well um, these are not on so if you guys turn on uh, light pattern 3 so here we go we're just a control three um, now every light is on but same thing still these are overwritten the takedowns are on no matter what it never gets so it overwrites the regular ELS um, as you guys could see so let's turn that off let's turn off all the lights and the floodlights off now we're gonna turn on the left traffic visor so it's going left now these two have the same style so this one um, is using unlike me um, so this one on the regular marked Explorer this uses this as full-time traffic visor so as you guys saw last time only these two are blinking blue uh, and red 
and the rest of it is full time traffic advisor. While this one, it basically has um, it has to use this as lights and traffic advisor. So if I can have the marked units to go turn on uh, two, just the marked unit in the select top. That's it. Uh, so as you can see right here, it overrides this one. So now it's not the whole thing that's going yellow. Um, while mine, it's the whole thing because it doesn't. You don't. We don't need this as a whole as we have the top light bar. So it overrides that one. So this one, if you if um, you turn it off on here, the ELS goes back to turn in red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. But because he has his left traffic visor, that's the same thing that happens here. Now on the unmarked, same thing we have right here except if he did turn on his uh, light two pattern two, um, you would see, there you go. So now these were off before, now they're on. Um, it just turns left, left, um, same, similar to the slick top. Um, it overrides the, um, the whole entire light bar. See, without it, that's what happens. So, and then if it's back on, it, you basically start seeing red, blue, red, blue right there. Perfect. So now we're going to do the one that's going in both directions. So as you can see right there um, the, in the marked units, this is always the light bar. I mean, the traffic advisors, they're always on while well, this one they share um, because at the end of the day, he needs back visual. Same thing here. They share and it overrides the other one. Unlike mine, this is a full-time thing. And this is the same thing for the K9. So everything I say for this vehicle, the K9 is the same thing because the K9 is just a one with a dog back here that you can't enter. Um, next up, turn off pattern three and turn off the traffic visors. I mean, pattern two, turn off all the lights pretty much. Um, so we're gonna turn on left alley. Now we have left alley and actually both turn left alley and right alley if you have it. So here's how left alley and right alley works on a Mart unit. You have the regular, just like real life vehicles, uh, left alley's right there and right alley's right there on the regular marked explorers that every regular um, um, agent drives. If you'd have the slick top, these on the side, just like the, uh, the unmarked, these on the side start flashing. I don't know why, they, why we have it like this because um, it really does not like it acts more like a takedown than it does of a of a side marker because i've noticed that it actually does not i'm lighting it up but this car is not lighting it up so if i can have you guys take uh, turn on your takedowns real quick both of you guys so technically what you can do is turn on your takedowns and it does that so now you have more uh lights that's dispersed um because these don't usually turn on when you have your takedowns um so, so you see, he just, he turned it off right now The he turned off the, um, the le left and right alley. And, uh, as you could see, and he has his takedowns, it literally turns off. So you can, if you want more light output, you can use the left and right alley because it points forward. So if you want more light forward, you can use that as well on top of your takedowns or your, um, floodlights. Uh, so that's usually what I would do. Um, in the sense when I need more out, light output, but I don't know why they, the devs put it as left and right alley right here because it really does not actually point to the left and right alley on the unmarked units and the slick tops. Next up that we have, if you wondered, is our sirens. So if you guys didn't know, we have one. So we basically, this is pretty much all the, we have the manual, which is the same across the board. Uh, wind down i think that's what they call it wind down right that's what i think um whale oops my will is acting up somebody want to turn on their whale any of you guys want to turn on your whale? oh so wait 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 it glitches is, is, is that a glitch or is that like a oh so when you have this wheel down it disables oh that's interesting i did not know that i just learned that so whale down actually disables your regular whale um so 
that's basically for will and then priority you have that as well um and then finally you have your yelp um whale can work with all three of the all two of them i mean so whale can go with uh priority it can also go with yelp but priority and yelp don't go together you'll have only one of them uh, manual is manual of course uh, you usually do it to get somebody's attention or if you want to pull somebody over you just turn on your light and just hit whale down and hold it for a second this is just telling the person hey i just pulled you over and stuff like that that's pretty much it now we're going to drive around so we can show you guys our vehicles so vehicle speeds it goes up to 10 um it goes up to gear 10 so these vehicles are pretty good um if you do want to take out oh there you go see the chassis i i know you guys seen me complain about the chassis it's horrible i'm not the only one that complains about them it this car is like sometimes it's driving itself okay if elon musk tried to make an explorer he would make it with this except this one will just crash you because it literally i'm not even kidding it literally has a mind of its own sometimes it drives forward sometimes it turns left sometimes it does not um sometimes it spins out it has a mind of its own i don't know who made the chassis but like i've been asking for a fix for a long time so it's not like i have a horrible driving like it looks like i'm a horrible driver but trust me when i say this i am not a horrible driver it's the car everybody that drives this car struggles with it only one that activates the push bar so if you have mode three on um unless you're driving unmarked unmarked you're out of luck basically you can't take out any tires but if you want to take out a tire you can't be in mode two and try to hit somebody's tire it won't pop them if you want to pop somebody's tire you have to hit mode three and this will automatically um start taking out people's tires in v2 so i don't have uh I don't have a civilian vehicle to test it out for you guys. I would I would love to show it to you guys, but I don't have it. And if I tried it in the in a county, I know there's some haters that are gonna be like, oh, um, you did a vehicle assault or something like that. So I don't wanna try it in V2, but you guys get the idea. So with mode three, you basically have uh, um you basically have um with you basically can take out any tire. Um, the only thing you can't take out is law enforcement. So you can't take out their law enforcement's tires at all. No, no matter what you do, you can ram them multiple times. The only thing you will do though is glitch. And these cars are bro like you guys seen my old episodes. They just glitch left and right. Like you you park the car and you try to get out. And these don't I don't know why. The ones at the training place don't fling, but the ones in the game, um, I'll insert like a uh, video right here as you guys could see i just flung right there um that video basically that's pretty much every single um vehicle that we do have um i want to say thank you guys for watching us um and while we're showing you guys our car this is pretty much the last video that we have of dhs um if you if you want me to do another department in the other department make sure to comment down below what department you want me to do next um with that this is me kale that's silent right next to me and pixels over here um with that peace out guys make sure to wave deuces